Hey, today we're gonna make some rice, okay? There are literally hundreds of different kinds, different grains of rice. And um, what's real popular nowadays, and the reason is, is because it's a whole food, right? My focus is always cooking with whole foods as much as possible, right? You have to live, and uh, sometimes you don't always get the whole foods. But, so for our purpose today, we're gonna be talking about a long grain uh, jasmine, brown jasmine rice, okay? And so, uh, you know, rice takes a long time to cook. The whole grain rice takes a long time to cook, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this started um, and it's gonna take about 50 minutes to cook. So white rice, uh, usually when you see white rice or minute rice or, um, you know, rice that's in boxes for meals, what happens there is that the germ of the rice, the kernel from the middle has been removed, right? And what's in there is the fiber and the nutrients. Uh, that the rice actually contain. So therefore, uh, it really has no nutritional value, it's just like a filler. So that's why brown rice is the most popular and it's really the best for you. So, let's get started. Like I said, I have a long grain brown jasmine rice and this is gonna take 50 minutes to cook and I'm gonna show you the way I like to do it, okay? So this is the way I've been doing it for a long time, over 20 years, and so um, I have my pot here and uh, you have to get a pot with a lid that fits nice and snug. And the reason is, is because rice needs to steam, right? So uh, the rice kernel is very hard, it's very dense, and it needs to soak up a lot of that water, or the liquid. We're using chicken stock today. But um, it needs to be really hot, and it needs to be steaming in order for that to happen, okay? So you have to have a nice, tight, fitting lid. If you don't, you can, you know, you, I, I've had to um, compromise over the years and sometimes I'll put tin foil over the top, something to hold it, you make it as tight as possible, you know? Don't stress out about it. You know, if you have a rice cooker, that's obviously the best because those things uh, cook like a steam pressure cooker, okay? So, what I like to do is, I'm gonna take my rice, so I have two cups of uh, rice here. Now, for th these rice applications, the amounts actually are important, right? Because uh, they need to, um, it needs to be the right amount of liquid to the right amount of rice. So for this rice, and a lot of the whole grain rices, it's usually about a two to one ratio, okay? So I have two cups of brown rice that I put in here, and I'm gonna put some oil in here. And the reason I put some oil in it is that it's gonna give it a richer flavor. And I also like to put in some onions, about a cup of onions here. And that's also, the onions are great. This is totally optional. You don't need the oil or the onions. Now I'm gonna stir this up. And I like to get the rice coated with the oil. And also, it gets the rice toasted a little bit, which is actually, it gives it a nice richer flavor, okay? So, I'm gonna cook this. Just give it a little stir, a few stirs here. Be careful, you don't want to burn the rice. And you can also use butter. The butter gives it a nice, rich flavor. So now I have four cups of rich chicken stock, okay? Now I live at altitude here. I live at altitude here in Colorado, so um, it's actually, I, I put a little bit slightly more in, about a quarter cup of extra for cooking at altitude. And it takes a little bit longer to cook. So, uh, you know, that's how it works in this house that I live in. Things are always different everywhere you live, okay? So now, what you wanna do is you wanna bring this up to a boil, which should only take about one more minute. And then, you see it's already starting to simmer here. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna give it a quick stir here. And then I'm gonna cover it. By the way, if you don't have chicken stock or you're a vegetarian, you wanna use vegetable stock or water, that's fine too. Use water, use vegetable stock, use beef stock if you wanna have a beef flavored rice, okay? I just happen to have some chicken stock and that's what I wanna to use today, okay? So now what we wanna do is we wanna reduce this to a simmer and a really slow simmer, okay? Rice takes, a, uh, it takes time, so you have to let it do its thing. So 50 minutes, tight lid, very slow simmer, then we're gonna let it sit for 10 more minutes and allow it to soak up any extra um, liquid, and then we're gonna lightly fluff it with a fork. And from there, 
we'll be able to uh, use it for whatever applications we want, okay? So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, everybody, we're back with our brown rice, okay? <clears throat> so look, this was on for 50 minutes. And then I let it rest for about 10 minutes. It was actually a little bit longer because I was doing video stuff here, but maybe about 15 minutes. But look, let's take this off. It's steaming. You can see where our onions came up to the top here. And then you just want to want to fluff this with a fork. You see how nice that is? It's light, fluffy brown rice, right? So what we want to do with this is we don't want to overcomplicate this, right? So rice is another one of those natural foods that you don't want to mask the flavor too much. It has delicious nutty flavor, right? It has a really nice aroma. So we're going to keep it simple here, okay? There are some other applications. We're going to make some fried rice uh, in a different video. But for right here, here's what I want to do. Watch this. So I'm going to keep this really simple. Here we have uh, half of our brown rice, okay? I'm gonna put in, I have some green onions here. We're gonna make a cilantro and lime rice, okay? Look, we're gonna take it just like this. Those, that was some green onions. Here's some cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, parsley works really well, but this is a great uh, uh, simple dish. It has really bright flavors, goes well with grilled foods, right? So uh, here's a few uh, crushed red pepper flakes. And this one, this has a tiny little bit of vinegar, right? It's going to give it a nice little pop in your mouth. So that was just about one teaspoon. And then you want to take the juice from a lime here, right? So I put this lime in the microwave for about 20 seconds, and it makes it so the juice comes out really nice and easy, right? So let's get that lime juice out. And then a couple of shakes of our fresh cracked pepper and a little bit of salt, a little pinch of salt. And that's it, right guys? So we're just gonna give this a little toss. And again, this isn't really hard, right? It just, getting the rice nice and fluffy, it's intimidating to some people because we were brought up with minute rice. It was easy, you throw um, uh, the rice in the microwave for a couple minutes and you have your minute rice but we later found out that's not really so good for you, right? So this is the whole food right here. This smells delicious. I wish you could smell. I'm gonna taste it. Mmm, that is perfect, okay? So, we'll take our plate. We'll just scoop this out here, right? And at this point here, I'm just showing you how to make this nice rice here, but you know, you could serve this with some nice grilled vegetables around the end here or some nice grilled meats, grilled chicken, grilled fish even, really goes really nice here. So anyway, there's your uh, natural brown jasmine whole grain rice with a cilantro lime flavor, okay? So really delicious, really not that hard. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Have a great day today.